Now I'm going to use some of the components I pulled off those boards and build a voltage doubler. I pulled a drawing off the internet, but this drawing won't match what I need because I want to use this device, and this device will not hook up this way. This is a half-wave bridge. So what I did was I drew my own circuit of what I'm going to use, what I'm going to do. We're going to try that instead. So I hooked up the circuit and it didn't work the way I wanted to. This uh, half-wave bridge. I, I can still use it, but I'll just have to like use two of them together. So what I'm going to do now, turn my meters on. One meter is DC and one's on AC. The one going on DC goes to the capacitors and one on AC measures the voltage coming out of the little motor. And I've got a hook to a drill and I'm going to turn it. As long as my things here stay plugged in, keep popping out. Let's see how they do. Oh, put the other meter in the camera. I'll have to turn it sideways. See, this one's still reading 20 volts. It's not been bled off yet. But that's okay. It'll jump up. There it goes. I'm getting 19 volts on the AC side and I'm getting 54 volts on the DC side. And my AC will drop pretty quick, actually almost right away, because the motor stops spinning almost right away. And my DC will drain off slowly. Now if I put a resistor across the DC, I can make it drain faster. See if I can grab one. Here's a 200 ohm resistor. back up again. And you might say, well, if you double 19, that's not 54, but you got to figure by the time you smooth the voltage out on AC, you're going to get about 25, 6 volts, 27 volts, and then if you double that, you've got 54. And you notice the DC doesn't just hit 54 immediately, it's got to charge those capacitors. Now we've got our circuit hooked up to this hard drive motor. And to get more speed out of my drill, I stuck something slightly bigger on it. Well, we'll see how this does. As you can tell by the voltage on the AC, that wasn't double. Big reason for that is I've got loss on my diodes. It takes so much voltage just to overcome the diode itself to get the voltage across it. Now how do we use this voltage? We'll do that in the next video.